Hey everyone, welcome back to Silent Hill 4. I'm super excited to do another world. It's been a couple days, so I kind of was itching to get back into that PS2 goodness. Um, we finished the forest world last episode, so I think, if I'm correct, the next world's gonna be good. So let's see where the hole will lead us this time. Wait, did anything happen in the apartment? Did we check anything? It sounds rather quiet, so I doubt anything really happened, but... I hear something. Oh! Oh, now he's cleaning! The landlord, was it? I think that's him. Sweeping the floor. Seems normal, other than that. Other than that, we're trapped in our room. <laughs> Chained from the inside. I think that's it. Is he coming back? Nope. Oh. This keeps going. The gift that keeps on giving. Oh, he coming back. Oh, he doing another sweepy. You got this, dude. Ooh, mindful of the back. Do you think this just goes on endlessly? He'll come back another time to go to the left. I think that's about it. Do you think our neighbor's up to anything? It's so weird to control this character in first person. Oh, she's sitting there. What are you doing? Looks like she's looking at me almost. I can't even imagine like just spacing out at your apartment like that. Like she's not even watching TV or something. Like what are you doing? You're just sitting on your bed doing absolutely nothing? Weird. What a weirdo. She doesn't do anything. She just sits on her bed. A freak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the hole. Hello. The hole has changed again. I think I can hear children's voices. We heard the children's voices from the beginning, though. Speaking of which, I'm turning up my volume. Uh, but yeah, if if this is... Ooh, that's way too loud. If this is the world I'm thinking of, this is like the first point in the game where a type of enemy scared the absolute shit out of me. It's been kind of like... You know, this game... The enemies up to this point have kind of been... Like, okay, like a dog. Eh, nothing too weird, nothing too scary. This is the point. This is indeed the world I think I was thinking of. It, this is where it's getting really freaky. Probably the best enemies in the game. So I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, Jesus. Who's that? Okay, here we are, guys. Oh, there's a door here. Oh, and it's open. Jesus. Oh, they're growing like stems or something. Um, whatever it is, I'm not seeing anything in this room, so let's just leave before it attacks us. I don't know what those things are. Broken. Oh, what's that? Ammo? Nice. 
Graffiti looks like kids writing. I'm being watched from the middle room. Hmm. What's on the wall? A little friend crawling there. Hey, beefs. Oh, there he is. Oh, is that a note? He's gonna kill me? No, that's not the note. A sloppily written note on the ground. Lucky! Finally escaped from the cell. Lucky! <laughs> I decided to take a careful look around this building. <laughs> the scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Okay, wait. First floor basement. Kitchen. Northeast. Northwest is death chamber. Okay. That's it. He's gonna kill me. Walter's gonna oh, kill me. Hey. Who are you? He's gonna kill me. You don't want to talk to me? Hi. Sorry, you can't see it. I'm like just a little bit in front of it. Oh, little wormy dudes are here. Don't know what they are. Get me out. Do you think I've gone full circle now? No. Ooh. Something's written. Sick of being watched. That walking is cool. That triggers every now and then. This is where I've been. Okay. Ugh. Let me check my map. I think I've gone full circle. Yep. Okay. Let's check the door. The door to the outside, or outside of the circle. He's, he's gonna kill me. He said Walter's gonna kill me, right? Okay. There's another door here on the sides. Another note. To get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of this complex, you'll have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells. On the first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. So we need to go to the third floor. You have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. The lights only work on the third floor. Okay. Does it say what floor we're on? Yeah, 1F. Okay, so we just need to get to 3F. Let's go through and uh, make this our HQ and see if what event is going to happen. And I haven't had soda in so long, it's so weird to drink it. Such a familiar taste, but it's been months. I'm glad to have my caffeine buddy back, though. <laughs> oh, TV? Yes? Or a radio? What is it? TV! I don't remember turning this on. Even when I turn the power off, the screen stays on. Hmm, weird. So much static noise. Oh, <gasps> there's a note. Scrap of red paper. <clears throat> Lately I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned to whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but the one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The name of their killer it was carved in as well. Walter Sullivan. That's what the dude just now was saying in the prison, right? Walter's gonna kill me. April 4th. 
cool. So we discovered, let me check my notes, 16. Um, and I'm guessing that, what was his name? Patrick? Is that his name? I don't remember now. Uh, the dude in the forest who put himself on fire. He must have been number 17 because I think Cynthia was number 16. So that means 17, 18, 19, 20. Only three more. There's a rumbling here now. Was that there before? Probably. Um, let me save real quick. And then I'll head back. Uh, let's just go over this one. Can't believe I missed that med kit. It still pisses me off. Thank you. Well, weird TV. That's it. Should we check the door? The people? Oh! Who's he arguing with? He doesn't... it doesn't seem to lead anywhere. He just seems like he's doing the same motions over and over. Okay. So, landlord's fighting with someone and my TV is static and refuses to turn off. Gotcha. <laughs> so far we're up to speed. Um, let's just start with uh, exploring these two doors on the sides. See where they lead. Okay, this opens. Good start. Ooh, ooh, a ladder going down. Oh. Wait, there was a ladder at the door before I went through? God, <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. Eh. God damn. Ouch! Do I just, just stick to the inner wall? Oh, there's another. Oh, I just ran a full circle and there's nothing here. Wait, but then these doors locked from the inside. Keep fucking pressing that. Wait, how the fuck? I didn't take a ladder, did I? Did I? Oh, so I went. I ran down. And then went back up the ladder. Wait, so what happens if I... Wait, let's go back down. God, those sounds. Can I... Go down here again? Instead of just running through the dangerous hall. I guess so, huh? Do you think I skipped it? Like this. Looks like that's it. Like you can run around and put yourself in danger of getting hurt, or you can just take the ladders. And then there's the door. Okay, no more scary sounds. Thanks. Big circular. Ooh, big wheel. It's a key. 
Sure. Water prison exit key. Key found in the water wheel room, 2F basement. Up is carved into it. No idea what that means. Can... does this say anything? To turn on the lights on the third floor cells, turn this water wheel. Remember that the water must flow in the direction of the water wheel. Of course, you also have to open the sluice gates on the roof. Okay. A sluice gate on the roof. Gotcha. Anything else here? Oh, isn't that those annoying... yeah, the buzzy buzz. I'm ready to smack! <laughs> I don't know if I can kill this one. They're probably gonna come up again. Oh, another hole! Well, shit! Okay, that seems to be it. Can I go through here? I can! What the fuck? Wait, what floor am I on? B2. Um, this looks creepy. Whoa, that's a big door. That's a huge door. That's a huge bitch. Look at, look at that mark on it, huh? Nice mark <laughs> on the door. Does it open? Can't open it very wide. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking huge door. Maybe if we get like power going or something. What a weird door. Okay, um, we should just go back up, I think. For now. We got a key. That's good. I don't know what the key is for. Um, let's go up here. And then... This... Oh god. Where's the other... Other one. This door was closed, right? Yeah, locked from the inside. Then we go up again. And then we should be in the exit. Okay. So that was that adventure. Let's check this side. Oh! Oh! That's for this one. Ooh. <gasps> Roof? Um, for the Susuke thing? Oh god. Don't die. Don't run off. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Oh, I think this is it. I remember this. Oh, that's a telephone. I think I can smack those, but I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, he's looking at those things on the wall. There's a shirt hanging there. Oh. There's something written on paper. Kids writing. I peed in my pants. I gotta wash them so nobody finds out. I saw a shadow. I think someone saw me. Hmm. There's the walking again. Eh. Jesus. Don't scare me like that, little wormies. See where I'm going. Pots? Oh, what? Bottles filled with black powder. Okay. Might have to remember that. I'm so scared. <laughs> A diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's peephole the whole time, and some sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see his shadow move or hear his footsteps. The person watching? I think I'm on the other end of this weird thing. Uh, they're guarding a door, though. Yeah. I should try and see if I can hit them. Oh, 
I don't know if they can hurt me. I think I checked all the doors now. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's not here. Let me go through the door, please. <laughs> Uh, we can go up the ladder or go up through, like, around, maybe? I think this just goes up. More of those. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, eat shit. I got you all. One smack. Three hits. Oh, yeah, I think... Okay, this might be a level higher, though. Let me see. I think we went circled up. Still recording, right? Yeah. Okay, this is definitely a new floor. Okay, is this a scary floor? Is this where they are? <laughs> I really don't like them. Oh, there's writing on the wall. I'm a boy genius and I figured out the answer to the surveillance room puzzle. It's light and water. Okay, light and water. Are they here? Oh, there they are! Ah! I just went in! Oh, a hole. Okay. Uh, let's leave that for now. Look, they're so big! Ah! No, 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 no! Oh my god! <laughs> they're so huge! Ugh, creepy, creepy, creepy. No! I don't like it. I really don't like it. Clothes. Did that reset them? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, there's two! Oh my god. Go in. Okay. Now I will- now it will look like I'm sleeping. Were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. Hmm. Okay, let me see. The next door I haven't checked and I skipped three. Shit. The next door. Next door. Next door. Oh god. Oh my god, they're all around me. They're so quick. Go, go, go. Okay, found a hole. So there's two holes I can jump through. And two locked doors on 2F. So I'm guessing I'll just jump down to that. Should we check the other rooms first, though? My god. Oh god, it's so laggy. Okay, at least they can't really hit me. Another hole. So does that mean the hole- the next room is gonna be a hole as well? Ah, oh god, shit. Hurry. Read that. We had beef stew yesterday in the cafeteria. I heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen and they make meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Sorry. Excuse me. I need to check this thing. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Why does that- why are you in trouble for that? Okay, two doors back. One. Two. Oh, Christ. No, no, no! I wanted to grab the thing. Fuck. No, 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 no. Dude, stop. Shoot him? Not that one. Get it, get it. Oh, come on. Yes, okay, worth. I think I used three to get ten. Okay. Should we just jump down a hole or go to the roof first? 
there is a floor above oh. here as well. I'm gonna just run to the outside doors. Here. So those are the creepy guys <laughs> that I really don't like. <laughs> Forget it. Mm -hmm. Go up. Is this the roof? Whoa. Loud doors. It is. Okay, I'll run around, see if there's an item anywhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? There's a handle here. Turn it. That's what I needed to open, right? Uh, I forgot what it was. It was something like you need to drain the water. Okay. Is that good? So are they all open? Yeah, water is running through all of them. The door won't open. It's locked from the inside. Uh, I haven't been on the other side. Okay, nothing here. So maybe we should try and jump down a hole? Oh, are the lights on? Look, it's blue now. I don't know what that means. Uh, I, I'm gonna take a little pee break. I've been drinking too much tea, I think. It was Jasper, not Patrick. Jesus. <laughs> I was gonna look at this. Turn on the lights on the third floor. Turn this water wheel. Yeah. Remember the water must flow in the direction of the water wheel. You have to open the sluice gate on the roof. Yeah, that's what we did. So... How do we turn the water wheel? Hmm. Well, anyway, we did the thing on the roof, I guess. For now. I'm gonna jump down one of the holes. See if that gets me anywhere. So... This is... 3F. Okay, let me check again. Okay, let's go through and then the second door on the left. And hope we don't run into the dudes. Oh, sorry. Being real sneaky right now. Okay. So now that the lights are on, does that mean anything? I can just jump in. Yeah, I guess I'll just try. Yee! Oh, it just leads to another hole? Now I'm on 2F, and this was locked from the inside. Okay, let's do it again. Wait, can I open this? No. Try again. And another hole. One F. Okay. All the way down we go. <gasps> Jesus! Oh fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! The shower room. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy fuck, this scared the absolute crap out of me. Okay. <laughs> I'll unlock these. Cool. I should go kill that thing. Do you think uh, this will be enough? I don't know how much it'll hurt me. Wait, how hurt am I? Maybe I should go back real quick. Can I check that? Uh, I'll try and fight him, and if I get hurt, then I'll run out. Oh god. Oh god, there's two! 
Holy shit! Okay, is there anything here? Because maybe I'll just... Okay, I'm half health. Dude, dude. Dude, run. Got a couple hits in, but... Should I go back? Maybe I should go back. Um... I'll just have a quick peek. Oh! Am I in the observation room? The center of the circle? This door continues to deteriorate. This place. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. But the less they know about that, the better. Holy shit! I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them to get more and more I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day. With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Following the suggestion of an engineer, I've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, oh cool, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with a body in it vertically. P.S. Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one on the second, and one on the third. If you line those three rooms up, then it's bingo. Okay. So now I just need to find out how to... How to rotate these rooms, right? Oh! Hey, it's a dude! Can't, I can't do anything though, right? He's gonna kill me. Walter's gonna. Hmm. Wait, what floor am I on? One F. Um. Okay, I need to go back first before I do any more. Go down. I'm gonna go back through my hole and recharge my health and save, just in case. Okay, uh, back up. So I checked everything- oh, what's that? Oh, nothing. I checked one of the rooms here and saw the hole, right? Oh, these are just these weird thingies. Anyway, I'll just go further up. Did I read this one? To keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were originally bought as searchlights. As a precaution against the blackout, they were set up to run on a private generator. There's a hydroelectric generator in the basement. To light up the first and second floors, you use the corpse disposal chutes. Since each floor of this building can be rotated, you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Okay. Repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well behaved. Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the first floor, so align second and third with the first one so that it has the bloodstained bed. By the way, if you use the people in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Okay, give it a try. Please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. I did that. Okay, this is confusing. So, is the desk... The desk isn't on the same spot every time. So we need to align the holes, right? So one and two and three. Oh, I just went in the right hole that went all the way down, I see. Hmm. Unless they all went down and I don't know. So looking through here... I need to find the one with the bloodied bed. There's the hole. Oh, there's the valve. So 
So if the ground floor one can't be changed... This is a bloody bed. So this one that I'm standing at. Okay. So seven o'clock. Let's find out where the one on the bottom floor is. Because that's the one that couldn't rotate, right? So is this one F? Yeah. So is this seven? No, two to the left. So this is 7 p.m. ish. Okay. Find the bloody bed. <laughs> Hi, dudes. Here. So which one is this? So 1 p.m. So all the the bloody ones need to go to 1 p.m. Turn right. So, what happened to this one then? This one shouldn't be the bloody one anymore, right? Is that that's this one now? Yeah. Okay. So, that means we need to turn it one, two, three more times. Did I do right or left? I think I did right. Anyway, let's do two more times right now. Let's see where it is now. Um, is this one PM? Yes. You guys aligned now? Yes. Okay, let's go up one more then. Oh, hi. What is it? Secret number for getting through the door in the back of the kitchen this month is 0302. Can I remember that? Do I add that to my scrapbook? Okay. 0302. Uh, there's a valve here too, so let's find bloody room. A bloody bed, I should say, I think. Ugh, these dudes. So creepy. Fuck off. Here it is. So this one needs to go to 1 p.m. So we need to turn it twice to the right. I think. I hope this works. Oh, hey. Wait, who is that dude? Is he out now? I hope he got out on time. Okay, so now I turned it twice. Let's see. 1 p.m. room. Bloody. Okay, so now they're all aligned. So what did the form say exactly? Um, Was it just to... The guard? The corpse disposal shoots in the cells. On the first and second floors the cells are locked so the kids wouldn't discover them. You have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. 
Okay, so we have to go back to the third floor and now jump through those holes, I think. I think that's the plan. And we released the dude. So we should check what happened to him. What floor did we see him on? 1F? Oh, hey, shit. You stay in there. God, please. Come on, get let me out of here. So I didn't try to die in here. Make me stay in there, Wal. Waltrot, I'm telling you, stay down. Oh, oh, oh. What was he saying? Who is that boy? And who are you? His name's I wasn't Walter. subbed. Walter Sullivan. The little kid is Walter. I used to work at the orphanage. The dude that was gonna kill you, right? I'm Andrew DeSalvo. Hi, Andrew. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. Oh. And that kid, Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. It was scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, Don't go in the door on God. your right. Just keep going. Oh, my God. I'm guessing he's going to be the next victim. Um, anyway... Can I go back and save? I don't know. In any case, we need to go... I did do the... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I did do the whole business with all the valves. It's kind of complicated. <laughs> One sec. Okay. Uh, 1F. So let's go up through outside. I gotta get to 3F, right? And then jump through the holes. So, one more. Here. Yeah, so 1F. Okay, I have to pretty much be at the other side by the light source. Let's try that. And hopefully the dudes don't attack me. But I am fully healed, so... Um, I don't see any <gasps> light source. Right by it. Oh, it's water. Oh. Well, this should be it. Bloody bed. Let's give it a shot, right? One bloody bed. Whee. Two bloody beds. Three bloody beds. Woo. Touchdown. Okay, no creepy monsters. Oh, kitchen. Okay, touch pad. Some food. Any items? No. There's doors here. They lead back to the middle thing, right? Oh. Okay, I can get back to the... What's here then? Ouch! Rude! So this I can unlock? Yeah. Um, nothing here. Just making sure... Mm, this just seems like a way back. Okay. Oh god. A plate on the door. The watchfulness placard. Oh no, placard! <gasps> Is it that time already? 
zero three oh two was it? Yes. Wait, but what was the whole thing with the basement then? That huge door. And the dynamo. And the water wheel. I haven't checked there. Yes? Oh, there he is. 18. Yeah. So it was 10 victims last time though, right? So this is 18, so two more. And we are possibly one of them. We might be number 20. We don't know these people though, right? Or what they have to do with each other. Like how they're connected. Right, that's not my usual ceiling. Oh, it's my window. <laughs> Wait, was that it? I remember that level taking much longer before. Maybe I just figured it out really quickly. Or I hope I didn't miss anything. Was there anything I could have done with that huge door? Do you know? Anyone in the watching right now? Or is it just there to be creepy? Or is it like if we come back here later, if we re ever revisit the area. Someone running a bath for me? Oh, that's not the kind of bad bath I want. Blood. Stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water-filled room under the cylind cylind cylindrical prison. That's a hard word, surprisingly. Blood is sprayed all over. Is the hole bigger again? Holy fuck! <laughs> the hole's even bigger now. There's a lot of noise coming from the inside of the hole. I will not go in, no. <laughs> I- I'm gonna head out. <laughs> this hole too big. I wanna save. Be glance through- oh! There's a new note! I found something that's extremely effective against the ghosts. It saved my life. It was stuck into the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow- oops, sorry. It seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence with that kind of power. It's extremely valuable. July 23rd. So we went from April to, April to July. Someone arguing again? Oh, hey, hi. How's it going with room 302? Wait, well, room 302 and the I, numpad we just did just was 0302? Just open it up. But it looks like something's uh, blocking it from the inside. If I were him, I would just think anyway, they changed the, to change the locks the without time. asking me or something. You mean the guy who lived here before? And it wasn't just him either. There's uh, something wrong with his whole apartment. Mm. Don't say that. You're scaring me. I wonder if they see the handprints. Oh, there's a new handprint. Well, anyway, I just slipped a note under his door. Uh, don't worry about it too much. There are a lot of strange things in this world. He knows something. Yeah, he knows more than he's letting on. I keep in a box in my room. Lately, what? It started to smell terrible. 
What? Huh? Dude! Umbilical cord? What the uh, fuck? Forget I said anything. What the fuck? Are you talking about? I would be so freaked out if my landlord was suddenly like, Oh yeah, by the way, I keep an umbilical cord in my room and it started to stink. I would be so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my god. Did he... did the note come through? Oh. It's stained with blood. I can't read it. So it didn't come through properly. Hey, beep. Hi, what's up? Did you have a nice dinner? Yeah? Guess I'll put that away. Um, think our neighbor is up to something? Hmm. Nothing really. Okay. I think that about wraps it up. And on a lighter note, we have a new addition to the zoo. Last night at 3 a.m., a female baby tiger was born, and both mother and child are reportedly doing just fine. Hmm. That's oddly nice news. Okay. That was weird. Why would that be important to the game? Weird. I don't know if there's anything I can see here. It kind of just all looks the same as usual. Yeah. I don't know. Did I save? I don't think so. <coughs> uh, let me do this. That was over much quicker than I thought. So I guess next time... We're gonna see another new location with the even bigger hole. And that'll be it for now, I think. Um, there we go. It was a short but sweet. It was exactly like an hour. I think I hardly have to edit anything out because it just went pretty well. Um, just some going back and forth just to be safe that we can that I could probably edit out for you guys. But that's it. Um, that was so much shorter than I remember that being, strangely enough. I. For some reason in my mind, I'm like, I was there for hours, but it couldn't have been more than like two episodes with my old format where it was like 30 minute episodes. Hmm. Anyway, it's it's going pretty well. I think I'm happy with how it's going so far and, and I'm definitely into it so much more than I was when I played it the first time. Um, just in general, paying a little bit more attention than I was in my old playthrough. Um, just a different play style right now, I think. Um, so I hope you guys all enjoy it, and I can't wait to see the next world. Um, I think from now on the game, the next world is going to be really good as well, if I remember correctly. I have a vague idea. Um, I think the next thing is going to be really cool, and then after that, it's... Um, after that, I think after the next world, we're like in, in the second act of the game, pretty much. I think. Um, but we're gonna find out soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad um, You guys are here and watching until the end. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Thank you